So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal ornament pieces. If you guys don't know, we usually use pieces of an armor set and then make sets from those pieces. And this one's going to be no different. The only difference now is going forward. And I've been doing this for a while, but I should probably tell you guys going forward. I'm going to at least use two pieces from this armor set into one set just because a to give warlocks and titans a better use of their class items because most of, most of the time I don't use the class items because specifically for warlocks most of the time it's not worth it to use just the blonde the bond with something else because most of the time the bond is not enough to make a whole set so that's why I started doing that you guys will notice this for this video we're going to be using the hunter's chest piece and cloak if I remember correctly if not I'll correct myself when we get there but that's why I started to do two pieces in one set because uh, it was kind of unfair that the hunters were getting five sets and the hunt titans and warlocks were getting only four and warlocks sometimes only getting three because their arms usually arms or boots. I don't remember which one. It was usually either or to be quite honest. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it now. Also, if you guys want to check out the seasonal armor review, you can check it out right here. We go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts and some really interesting caveats to the shadering. Speaking of shadering, if you guys want to go through the shaders, I've already made this video right here. We go through all of the shaders that I currently own, and it's just me going through the shaders, no talking, just music and just chilling. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to check it out. Other than that, let's uh, look at this first set. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet for this one. And this one, I will say you could switch the helmet out and I would probably switch the helmet out for the uh, helmet of the Taken King just because that would look super cool with that. But I do use that helmet in one of these sets. So I probably, it's probably the best that I'm not using that helmet. Uh, for the arms, a pile of falling grips is what we're using because I want some symmetry in this because obviously the strides of the Taken King are symmetrical and the Leering Marrow ornament is also symmetrical is why we're using all these pieces. And then Dark Hollow Mantle, just because I like that cloak and because we're obviously going for a I don't know, like, what would you guys call this? I would call this a thorn, not thorn, but like, actually speaking of thorn, you could probably use the thorn helmet, even though I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, this would probably be more like a hive themed set for me. For the shadering, Imperial, Imperial Opulence is what I'm using, which is really interesting because I usually never use that shader. I usually use the other one, that one that turns into all everything into purple. But I decided to use the orange one because I never use it. And I do think it looks really cool with this set because if you guys don't know Strides of the Taken King uh, shaders really, really badly. And I am still getting all the pieces. So that's why there's no review for that armor set. But once I have it up, I will most likely put, put it up right here whenever I do it. But yeah, I just have not had good luck getting the armor. But let me know what you guys think about this first set. I think it's fine as a first set. I think it's a really good like palette cleanser like it's going to be this is going to be the level of pieces you're going to be expecting from me because the next set is super fucking cool as for the next set we're going to be using mask of trepidation and this one is really cool because it kind of looks like a shark type thing and i really like how the arms have that like really stylistic like fin almost like really sharp edge to it it looks super cool because when you combine it with the star eater scales i think it looks really really cool for the chess piece, Dragonfly Regalia is what we're using because I'm trying to go for like an organic chess piece type of thing because obviously everything in this bitch is almost organic as fuck. And then the Apilos Falling Cloak because I could not find anything that looked really good. And I think the Apilos Falling is going to be the best thing here. Not only that, I really like the fact that the Apilos Falling has the chest um, like bone plate thing, the silver on the on the chest. That's not part of the actual Dragonfly. That's actually the Apilos. So that's why I'm using that for the shadering ultra plasmic is what I'm using just because it gives off a really good blue glow, which hides the really uh, red glow that the helmet usually has. But it also is because the star eater scales have a glow on the backside. So that's why I'm using it overall. I really do like it. Also, the arms do have a, a bit of glow in there as well. Yeah, overall, I really do like this. set. I think this set looks really, really cool. Would I switch this out for the Star Eater scale set that I already have? Probably not, just because that one looks a little bit better. But I really like these arms and I can't wait to use them in other things. To be fair, though, I would most likely use the arms and the boots together just because both of them will go really well with a lot of things. 
as for the next set, we're going to be using the chest piece and the cloak. This one is super dope. I really like where my head was going. The only thing I would probably switch out would be the chest piece because it's not symmetrical. So the helmet mask of the taken King, I think is such a dub. I think this helmet is fucking cool and I can't wait to use it in more things. I can't wait to get all of the pieces from that set. I'm only missing the cloak for the hunters, but for the warlock and Titans, I'm using, I'm missing four more pieces. Or the arms are going to be using the sealed Ahamkara grasp just because I wanted to have a little bit more bone in there. And obviously, speaking of bone, a pile of falling strides is what we're using just because obviously bones. <laughs> and then for the cloak, obviously the cloak from the season pass. So I really like where my head was going. If I were to change one thing, I would probably say the Apilos following strides would be switched out for probably the the uh, strides of the Taken King. I think. I probably would switch that out just because as much as I like the Apilos following strides, they're a little too bony, just a little bit. Like there's a lot of, there's too much design in there because when you see everything else, it's very sleek, very like just, just sleek is what I could say. And the Apilos following uh, strides just have a little too much boniness in there. So I would probably switch out that for the Mask of the Taken King and then probably put there the Apilos chest piece Again, probably has still has the same problem, but it's not as much as the boots. For the shader, we're going to be using the Mesopelagic, which is the shader for the Aphotic Lamelaire. I can't say this, that's why, I'm, that's why I've been saying season pass armor. But that's the shader that actually comes with the with the uh, ornament. So make sure you do the season pass because that shader is really really cool. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the boots, and this one is really cool. Granted, I think I could have made it a little bit better, but again, I like to show you my work in progresses as well, just to show you where my head was at. So for the helmet, Shadows Mask is what I'm using. I love this helmet, but I'm going to be real. I probably should have switched this out for something else. For the chest piece, Dynamo Current Vest, I think this one's fine. I think this is good uh, because of the glow on underneath, and Omnicrony is what I'm using because of the blue glow. Granted, you can really use anything else uh, other than this, but Omnicronia really combines all of the pieces into one color, which is why I really love it. Um, Aphotic Limlar strides is what we're using. I love these strides. These boots are super fucking cool. And honestly, I would just use the ch I would use an exotic chest piece with the boots and the arms just to do something like that instead. And then Dendrite Shimmer Cloak because I love this cloak. Yeah, overall, this one is definitely a work in progress. I like where my head was going, but this was this is mostly just a I'm trying to do like a sleek hunter looking type of thing. And I think the boots look better with an aquatic themed set just because of the fins at the bottom or not fins, but I, I, they look like fins to me. But yeah, like the, the really sharp edging reminds me of like an aquatic thing. So that's why I would probably just com combine the boots and the arms with an exotic that looks like fishy. So hunters, let me know what you guys think about your seasonal ornament video. I think these are super dope. I think a lot of these will be utilized in really well ways. To be fair, though, I think the only pieces that will be actually useful will be the second one, uh, if I'm being honest, because I do. People still use the fish pants, which is the Star Eater scales. People still use that one, so I can see people using that one a lot more. But yeah, it's just unfortunate that we have a lot of exotics in the game that are just not viable. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.